guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing this makeup look for you guys um, I haven't filmed in a while and it's just amazing to be back on YouTube and I've missed you all so much um, I asked you guys on my Instagram story if you wanted like a simple everyday makeup look or if you wanted a full glam like beat face and you guys chose the beat makeup glam so here is the beat makeup look for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it I've been kind of gone for a while it was a lot of things you know life is really up and down so I'm so proud of the person I am you know because I've gone through a lot and um, it's made me stronger and it's it's only the beginning and um, yeah, I'm just really like happy. I started watching my YouTube videos yesterday and I got so inspired and I was just like, oh my god, I used to do this so much and I was so motivated and I uploaded like every month or every week almost and you know, I just slowly gotten motivated and it stopped and you know school and I was busy and jo my job and blah 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 you know but I should always still try to find a way to um make time a little bit maybe in the weekends or something and like I love YouTube and I just feel like it's just like a way to release and just you know express myself um so yeah and I know a lot of you guys love my videos so I'm gonna start doing them again and just show me some love like this video, comment, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to start off by using is this Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. And this is really, really hydrating on the skin. My skin is really, really dry, so using creams like this really helps my skin out a lot. right here in the center of my forehead another thing I've gotten in my um, Sephora play box is this Tatcha the silk canvas primer yeah it's a filter finish protective primer and when I got this I was like yes kind of around in the same areas Alright, next up, you guys know this by now, I always prime with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, and this is silicone-free, alcohol-free, and oil-free. <sighs> that feels good. Okay, so for today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, and this is in the shade Light Beige. And I start to see. Alright, so now that we have the foundation on, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. And this concealer is like the best concealer ever. So, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick, and this is a contour stick what shade is this it's in the shade oaks on you So I blended out the concealer with a beauty blender, um, but for the cream contour, I'm going to be using the Morphe M436 Dual Fiber Brush. I just love this brush for a cream contour. Alrighty, 
anyways so all of that is blended and I'm gonna set um, the concealer with the airspun loose face powder and this is in the shade translucent So to bronze up my face, I'm going to be using the MAC Give Me Sun. Lingo between the words to say, eh? To say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're going to take back everything and lose it all. While that's baking, I'll dust it off in a little bit. We are gonna go in with this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Party. And I'm using this crown brush. It's a dual fiber blush brush. <laughs> Alright, so my favorite part, we are going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty Highlighter. This is the duo, like it brings two highlighters. It, it brings... It's the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo. And there's two shades, Mean Money and Hustla Baby. But the one I always use is Hustla Baby because it's just beautiful. Well, actually, I'm going to go in with Mean Money a little bit for the Cupid spell. That. Could light up the whole room with that highlighter. Oh my god. Ah! You're gonna be glowing from every angle. So now that the face is done, we are going to go on with the eyebrows. And lately, you know, I always use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. But I haven't been using that one lately. I've been using the ColourPop Banging Brunette Pomade. One day I was going to do my eyebrows and I saw that I had this and I'm like, well, let me just try it. Sometimes I buy things and it's just like sitting there doing nothing. And so I've been using this. A lot lately and I love it compared to the Anastasia one that I have which is more it's more of a dark brown this is a more of a lighter brown but it still works so okay so the first thing I do is brush them the front of my brow has like a lot of hairs but then the tail is like only a little bit and that's why I really have to fill in like this area and then the arch the, it's mainly the arch I do this thing where I squint because it kind of tells me <laughs> I look crazy though. I try to just follow my natural like brow. Okay, so I try to like brush them up. I kind of go back, back and forth with filling the brow and just putting concealer because I kind of shape the brow more with concealer. And I'm going to use a brush to blend that. So I'm going to apply a base onto my lids and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Concealer and this is in the shade... This is in the shade Medium Tawny. I'm just going to be applying this on my lids.
to set that concealer, I'm going to be using the NICE Kylie Jenner palette. I'm going to be using the shade Lullaby, which is this one right here. yellow color right here and it's called ginger snap I'm just gonna put that into my crease next I'm gonna apply this shade right here which is called Santa baby The eyeshadow that inspired this whole look is Egypt from the Nubian 2 palette. Just gonna spray um, the primer water onto my brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade called Madagascar right here. So I'm gonna go in with my little Z palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's kind of like a cool tone brown. I went in with this other um, shade in my Z palette. All right guys, so I've just applied the same brown shade on the under eye, just so I can kind of connect both the bottom and the top. For the inner corner, I'm gonna apply this um, shade right here. Quick story time, so I got eyelash extensions and it was the most uncomfortable thing ever. I was, I mean, I'm used to having eyelashes on, but I take them off at night. And so sleeping with fake, well not fake, sleeping with the extensions, the eyelash extensions, it was so annoying. I couldn't even rub my eyes because like I was scared I was gonna, um, you know, rip, like take out my lashes and it would poke my eyes, it would just, it's, the, the lashes were so thick. I don't think I would ever do them again because it's just really uncomfortable and it like ripped off my lashes. I barely have lashes, like, the lashes I'm going to be using are the Demi G lashes. Look at them right there, they're really cute, really cute, okay. I think my camera cut off when... I was applying mascara to the bottom lashes and I use the Lancome mascara. I literally wear this every day. Like it's just so pretty and it's so like <sighs> girl. Um but anyways, this is in the shade Glossy Fawn 900 by L'Oreal. All right guys, so that was the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, please give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Girl, indeed, I can run it, run it. Oh, 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 oh. Wet and wild, my little, 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 little.